talk talk about uh, talk about leaving Apple. Mm-hmm. You know, so you you have your dream job. You, you've been running these amazing projects yes. for four or five years. How do you then get the you know the the confidence, the moxie, whatever to to leave that comfort yes. and jump? into this thing where you're not making any money. You're working with this guy who's this legendary guy who you respect more than anybody, but how do you, how do you jump? How do you, how do you do that? Uh, that was a hard one. That was really, it was honestly probably the hardest decision of my life. Mm-hmm. I mean, Apple was my dream job. I was making tons of money. Sure. Like the stock was like on this, like, like, like the craziest rise of all time. Uh, and I, I had to do it. Like it was one of those kind of like, guttural emotional things where like I had to go do it. It was like my family told me not to do it. Like my friends like you think you're crazy. And uh, I was on you know this killer Then they all came to Apple. work for you. Pretty much. Right. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So it, it, it was one of those like irrational decisions, but yet balanced with this enormously rational opportunity that we, we understood the market. We understood how we would go do it differently. Like Tony, super known quantity, like we could go raise money, yeah. get PR. Like, like we had all those things that you'd, you'd look for in kind of early DNA. And uh, the only question was, could we build a team? Could we do it fast enough? Could we do it within budget? And I was like, like sure. And they, that, that, well, there's no mo- no one's getting paid, so that's pretty easy, right? Yeah, well, it, it costs a lot of money to build hardware. Like sure. all manufacturing and prototyping is pretty expensive. And it took a lot longer than we thought. It took a lot more people than we thought. And so did you guys, was that Tony putting in his money? Was that you guys, everybody yeah, so, chipping in a yeah, little so, bit or so, what was so, it? So we basically bootstrapped ourselves. Yeah. Where I, I basically paid for the facilities and kind of some prototyping out of pocket. You know, t- Tony chipped in a bunch too. And that got us enough to build some prototypes, get some ID models going. Wow. And uh, we raised a Series A October 2010. You're not Apple anymore. You don't have the leverage that you had. You can't just, you know, what, where, where, does it, where does that start? Where you've, you've got this idea... Where, where do you begin? So I, I think it's, it was one thing and one thing only was relationships. Hmm. So it was relationships with former employees, you know, former classmates, former professors. It was relationships with, with former partners, you know, guys like TI, guys like Samsung, people we worked with back at Apple, uh, and who we helped Texas build entire, Instrument TI. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, okay. The guys who we made enormous businesses TI. with. Yeah. Right, and when it came down to doing this new product, you know, we called our, our, our old old team yeah and a lot of them didn't believe in this a lot of them you know wanted to rest invest and some of them were like i'm in like this is just the, like the uniquely new thing that is incredibly exciting that i'm looking for mm-hmm. and we built a very small tight-knit team and it's one of those teams where we all we work together we eat together we you know we hang out together we go on vacations together it's one of those kind of <laughs> solid core teams that yeah. like these are all your apple buddies you've exactly, been doing this with exactly. them for four or five years exactly yeah. so it was, it was a mixture of kind of my old team at apple uh my my old professor from cmu yeah. and a few folks from tony's early days at general magic basically 20 years earlier mm. so you know I, I don't know if you guys know the history of kind of the crazy companies in silicon valley so general magic was one of the largest funded companies in the early 90s like they were their goal was to build this you know basically mobile tablet computer it was kind of a, a new idea at the time uh and it was like the most funded <laughs> company of all time huh. uh and it had the tightest group of smart engineers ever mm. so like uh, you know, basically the original Mac team was there. Mm. Uh, Andy Rubin was there. Like, like Tony Fidel was there, right? Like, these, like basically all of the, the great guys, you know, or great guys in Silicon Valley all came through General Magic at the time. Wow. It was like where all the great talent was. Mm. And uh, we basically called up all those guys who were basically interns back with Tony then and all got them to leave their jobs. And one of the guys was a VP of Twitter. One guy was running Microsoft's user experience team for, you know, basically their set-top boxes. And we, we, we got started. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of unlike most startup teams in that I think the average age of our team was about 40. Yeah. Like I was the youngest guy on the team. Huh. Uh, and are these guys cranking like you're cranking? Oh, yeah. We were, like, we were all working basically seven days a week, 12 hours a day. And it was, it was crazy. Like, and not everyone was like, living in, you know, in the office. People had families. So like, they'd go home for dinner and then come back. Wow. It, it, was, it was craziness. Like, that first Thanksgiving, like that November... Uh, we worked that entire Thanksgiving. We took a few hours. A day. That dinner. Thanksgiving day. Oh yeah. Yeah. It, you know that's what it takes. I mean. And how they, many of these guys stayed married or? Oh. Uh, <laughs> they all did. They all did. They did. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I had to think about it for a minute. But no, they, they, all, they all did. I think a few a few wives were pissed. They were separated, but, but no one's divorced. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. The, like, all the wives are pretty happy now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, uh, so 